Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Here's a word problem for you. It says that Mala has half a liter of water in a bottle. She drinks one third of a liter of water from the bottle. How much water is left in the bottle? And if she fills another one sixth of a liter of water into the bottle, then how much water is there in the bottle now? All right, so there are two questions that we have to find the answer to A and B. Let's uh, see what we have. Well, Mala has half a liter of water in a bottle. Now, if we put that on a model diagram, then we'll have to make a model for one liter of water. Okay, one liter of water. And on that, we will mark half a liter, right? Now, with this fraction, half a liter says that if you have one liter and you divide it into two equal parts, then one out of those two parts would be half a liter, right? One out of two, the fraction one upon two. So there you go. This one, this blue one over here is equal to half a liter of water because this whole model, this whole big model over here is equal to, is a model for one liter of water, then one out of the two parts is half a liter, all right? And also what I'm going to do is make this second part over here dotted just to show you that this is something that Mala doesn't have. It's only this blue part over here that Mala has. All right, then what she does is she drinks a third of a liter of water from the bottle. Now, how much is a third of a liter? Well, if you have a model for one liter of water, okay, and this time you divide it into three equal parts, three because the denominator here is three, right? So the fraction is one third and you divide into three equal parts, then one out of those three parts is a third of a liter, right? So this is a third of a liter. And this over here is something that Mala doesn't have. So we're going to mark it as dotted. Okay. Now, Mala drinks this yellow part and that's equal to a third of a liter. Now, how much water is left in the bottle? Well, after Mala drinks a third of a liter from half a liter, then all that's left is this much over here, right? So this is how much is left and that's your question A. So we have to find out the value of this little block over here that I'm painting in purple. So this is A and this is what we have to find out. Now it's quite clear from the model that this purple part is equal to the difference of half a liter and a third of a liter. So all we have to do is subtract a third of a liter from half a liter. So all we have to do is do half a liter minus a third of a liter. But we cannot subtract these two like this in the way that they are because these two denominators are different. These two are not the same, two and three. If we had to subtract them, then we must change them to a common denominator, okay? So express these two fractions in terms of a common denominator. Now, what should be the common denominator? Well, the common denominator we learned would be the least common multiple of these two numbers, 2 and 3. Now, the least common multiple means that if you write down the multiples of 2 and 3, then the smallest of the common multiples would be the least common multiple. Okay, So let's write down the multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so on. And the multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and so on. Right Now, what is the smallest number in these two series that's common? Uh, it's 6 and 6, right? 6 is present here in the top series as well as the bottom series. So the least common multiple, which becomes the common denominator for these two fractions, is 6. So all we have to do is convert half to something upon 6 and convert third to something upon 6. Now, what will go on the top for the first fraction? Well, when you convert 2 to 6, you multiply 2 by 3 and you get 6. So you also multiply the numerator by 3 and what you get here is you get 3. So half a liter becomes 3 sixths of a liter. Similarly, a third, okay, how do you get 6 from 3? You multiply it by 2, so you also multiply the numerator by 2 and what you get is you get 2 here. So your one third liter is equivalent to two sixths of a liter. So what you have done is you have changed half a liter to three sixths of a liter and you have changed a third of a liter to two sixths of a liter. Now on the model what it means is that if you have a model for 
one liter of water okay the same as this one over here then instead of dividing into two equal parts you divide this model into six equal parts right which is what this three six says so you divide it into six equal parts and three six which is actually really equal to half a liter would mean three out of those six parts one two and three now this fraction over here okay is equal to three six of a liter which is really equal to half a liter right three out of six is half half of this model and that's the same as this half a liter right now similarly this one over here the bottom model again we take one liter of water and we divide it into six equal parts and to represent one third which is really equal to two sixths of a liter we would mark two out of the six units right so this is two out of the six units and this is equal to two sixths of a liter which is really equal to a third of a liter right now what we see is this guy over here one blue block one blue block is the same size as one yellow block so now we can subtract right because these are of the same size this one blue over here is the same size as this one yellow over here so now we can subtract and after subtracting what do you see well the difference between the blue the total number of blue and the total number of yellow is just one so this unit is the difference between these two and that's equal to one out of the six parts so this is equal to one sixth of a liter so this purple over here corresponds to this purple over here and it's equal to a sixth of a liter it's quite straightforward if you use this statement over here okay you have a common denominator for both the fractions so all you do is subtract three minus two of a liter and what you get is one sixth of a liter and that's the same as this right and this is the answer to the first question so how much water is left in the bottle well there is one sixth of a liter of water that's left in the bottle okay now how about the second part of the question it says that if she fills another one sixth of a liter of water into the bottle then how much water is there in the bottle now well let's see let's get rid of this what she doesn't have is she doesn't have this in the bottle and she doesn't have this in the bottle because she's already drunk that and all that she has is this one purple unit okay and this one purple unit is equal to sixth of a liter which means that if you have a model for one liter of water okay and if you divide it into six equal parts then the amount of water that's left in the bottle is one out of those six parts right one sixth so the amount of water that's left in the bottle is this purple guy over here and that's equal to a sixth of a liter and she fills another one sixth of a liter of water so what she does is she fills another one sixth of a liter so if she had a liter and she divided it into six equal parts then one out of those six parts would be one sixth of a liter right so this would be one sixth of a liter and what she did was she took this one sixth of a liter okay and poured it into the bottle like this okay so if this was the bottle okay if this was the bottle then how much water is there in the bottle now but well, we know that this pink part is also equal to one sixth of a liter so the bottle now has this one sixth which is the remaining amount of water from question a and this one sixth which is how much she fills into the bottle right so this is how much she fills so she has one sixth of a liter plus one sixth of a liter that's how much water she has in the bottle now so she has one sixth of a liter plus another one sixth of a liter and how much is that equal to well since you have a common denominator for both these fractions it's pretty straightforward to add these just add one plus one and what you get is you get two sixths of a liter so the amount of water that's in the bottle now is two sixths of a liter but we know that before we call it the final fraction we must check if we can simplify this fraction or not well in this case if you divide both the top and the bottom by two then what you get is you get one here for the numerator and three here for the denominator right two divided by two is one and six divided by two is three so the simplified version of this fraction is one third of a liter 
minutes. So after filling another one sixth of a liter, the amount of water left in the bottle is two sixths of a liter, which actually when simplified is equal to a third of a liter. So this is a third of a liter. That's the answer to question number B. Well, all right, that brings us to the end of this word problem, which I hope you understood. And I hope that now you'll go and solve some other word problems as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. Don't forget to practice because practice makes perfect. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.